In this lesson, we're going to talk about efficiency and rhythm. It's important to understand what we are trying to accomplish with the phases of the stroke. Each phase is as important as the next because each phase affects the others. Like a good dancer, our movements should be completed with a fluid and dynamic rhythm between each phase of the stroke. A stiff paddler will constantly fight their body and will not be efficient. You might be asking, how do I create rhythm when I paddle? I can't dance to save my life. Don't worry, I can't dance either, but I think my paddling rhythm is halfway decent. Because good rhythm is a product of knowing the stroke fundamentals and practicing them over and over. When you watch a toddler walk, they seem to stumble around stiff and unsure of themselves with each step. Their movements are rigid, mechanical, as they try to master putting one foot in front of the other in a smooth motion. New paddlers are not much different. Our muscles and nervous system are not used to the biomechanical movements of paddling. The more you practice, the better you will get. Over time, paddling with a smooth rhythm will become second nature. I know I felt like a stumbling toddler trying to walk when I first started paddling, and I'd be lying if I didn't feel that way sometimes now. That's why it's important to remember that technique refinement is a never-ending process. Understand that a solid technique is not something that is accomplished and then checked off the list of things a paddler will do. Technique improvement never ends. It is constantly evolving piece of being a well-rounded paddler. Before we go to the next lesson and get into the real core of the course, remember that paddling with good technique is all about efficiency. If you're paddling thousands of strokes during the course of a training session or race with one small mistake each stroke, it might not seem like a big deal in that tiny instance. However, thousands of poorly performed strokes will add up to produce negative effects of reduced speed and possibly even cause injury.